Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with Dev Central, and in this video we're going to talk about modern applications, and specifically what is a modern application. So we're going on this journey through you know modern application development, and the beginning of this is let's start to talk about the idea of a modern application. So before we begin, or before we get into the modern application, I'm going to talk about uh, what I'm going to call a legacy application. So I'll put legacy up here. And a, a legacy application typically is a uh, built on what we call a monolithic architecture. So I'm going to put uh, monolithic up here, monolithic architecture. And a monolithic architecture is, um, is typically includes, you know, huge time to market, a, a complex learning curve. Uh, there's a lot of, you know, large dependencies that go on. Um, it takes a long time to deploy a monolithic architecture. Uh, but this is the more traditional way of building applications, or in the past. Uh, it's a single and indivisible unit, if you will. So a one of these monolithic solutions typically comprise, is comprised of like a, a client-side user interface, a server-side application, and a database, and it's all managed and served in one place. They, they typically have one large code base, they lack modularity, uh, so if you want to update something, you have to update the whole thing at once, right? So kind of a picture of this might be, you know, you have a, a user interface here. So I'll just put user uh, interface uh, that comes into like a business logic. So here's, you know, some kind of business logic that is built in. And then there's a uh, maybe like a data, data interface here. And then all of this um, interacts with a back end uh, database. So I'll just put database down here. All right. But all of this stuff, you know, in, in the in the form of the application is built, you know, as one huge um, unit, right? So there are, there are some benefits to this, but this is definitely the more legacy way of doing things uh, because there, it's just, it's large to make any kind of changes. It takes a long time. Um, and so when we start talking about modern applications, which is what this is all about, the idea is that we want to start to decouple this. We want to break this apart, as it were. So one part doesn't have to be affected if another part is altered, right? So while a monolithic architecture application, legacy application, um, is this single unified unit, I'm going to come over here and talk about modern applications. So I'll just put, you know, modern here, modern. And we talk, and, and in, the, in the context of modern application, you're going to start to hear um, words like microservices, so microservice, uh, mar microservice architecture. So I'll do that. So this is kind of modern versus legacy application, microservice architecture versus monolithic architecture. So in a microservices architecture, it the, then things are broken down into a collection of smaller, you know, independent units. So these units carry out every application process as a separate service, right? So all the services have their own logic and databases, um, you know, they, they perform their specific functions, right? So that's the idea behind this. So if I were to draw out kind of a very basic picture of the microservices architecture, you would still have a user interface here, right? Because the, the users are still gonna inter, interact with the application, right? Um, but then you're gonna have a series of microservices down here, so microservice, and I'll just put two of them here so I don't have to uh, write it all out, but you may have, you may have hundreds of microservices, right? And then these are all gonna interact with, I'll just put database um, right here, right? So these are all gonna be more independent, um, you know, units. And so whenever you, uh, you know, whenever you need to update a microservice, you can update this one without, you know, affecting this one, right? So then this is kind of its own package. This is its own package, if you will, the user, the user interface. So everything is more modular. It's not so tightly, tightly coupled. Um, so you can start to say, you know, hey, maybe I have a service here um, that, you know, again, needs to be updated or modified or whatever, and it doesn't affect the whole thing. All right, so one of the, one of the things I also want to talk about on all of this is that, um, this does not come without a price tag when you, when you move to modern applications. And I'm not necessarily just talking about money, but I'm talking about like technical debt. So there is a skill base that, you know, administrators, developers, all that, 
have in a monolithic type architecture. And then there's a skill base that needs to be, you know, had over here in the microservices world, right, for more modern applications. Um, and so you, you know, a lot of companies will transition based on a number of reasons from the more legacy or monolithic architecture to more modern applications. But to make this transition over here, it's not, you don't just flip a switch. I mean, it's a, it's a very, in many cases, a complex, you know, transition that would happen here. And so you need to you need to think about you know the the, the technical debt if you will or the methodology the uh, the mindset the processes that you need to have in place to move from this type of a of a of an application architecture over to this type of an application architecture. All right. So when we talk about modern applications, they are built on these different architectures. Um, but again, we want to get into okay. When does, a mod, when does an application move from what we'll call legacy application to modern application? And so there are different, what we'll call pillars of modern applications that if you want to call your application a modern application, they must contain or they must have these certain pillars that make up what is a modern application. Uh, there's also some, uh, some you know, ideas to, uh, you know, to think about on when you build those applications so in the next video, we'll talk about those pillars and those ideas of what you need to think about um, on what makes up a modern application, kind of the, the foundational elements of a modern application. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching this Lightboard lesson video with us today. Uh, if you like this, you can click up here on our Dev Central logo and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you guys out there in the community.